different pepper shots. Not bad. I'm gonna try it. This is so good. See ya. Welcome back. I'm Cora. It's been a while since I vlogged. I'm gonna be meeting a couple friends this weekend and I thought I'd vlog it. I'm heading to Hot Pot tonight, so that's really exciting. And it's one of my favorite hot pots in the Bay Area called Grand Hot Pot. And we're specifically going down to the one in Pacifica. I don't usually go to a lot of all-you-can-eat restaurants, but I'm definitely gonna make this an exception because it's only $35, including drinks. But right now it's the end of a work week on a Friday and I'm just waiting for Alex to pick me up. We're gonna actually go to Costco first to grab some toothpaste and then head over to Pacifica. I'll bring you along. Let's go. Hello. You over for Cora? Thanks for picking me up. Yeah. Can you buy me that? Next time we we'll go camping. It's me right there. Oh, it's this one. Sensitive teeth. Check. Pants for me because my jeans are way too tight to eat a buffet. <laughs> I'm gonna change inside. How do you see them? Hello. Hi. Do peace cards. Hey, do we want this? I know. No tea, lychee, and try. Good afternoon. I'm thinking of making ginger shots for the first time because I think I need a cleanse. Alex is in the back preparing some wonton ingredients because our friends are coming over later tonight to make wontons together. We recently got a ninja blender. I'm kind of excited to use it. We went out this morning to do a little bit of shopping, passed by Gus's to get some ginger and lemon. We also had some oranges already. We're gonna put them all together and blend it up. I don't think it'll taste super good, but it should be very good for us. These are organic, so technically I can just keep the skin on. I'm gonna just scrape a little bit off because there was that sticker that they put on all over this ginger and didn't want to eat that sticky stuff. Lastly, just a little bit of water. We don't have those official shot wellness glasses, but we do have shot glasses. Joe Mack gave me this several years ago when he worked in Boston. I have my Cornell shot glass. It brings back bad memories. Have we ever really used it? No. Now's the time. Different type of shots. I probably added more orange than anything else. So it's gonna be orange juice with a side of ginger and lemon. Yeah, the ginger shots that we had smells bad. This smells not bad. All right, cheers. cheers. Mm. Ooh, it's not bad. A little spicy, but not as spicy as I thought it would be. It's like spicy orange juice. Would I go for this every single day? Probably not, but we do have this much left. I'm probably gonna store it and drink it over the next couple days. It's pretty good, actually. I'd do it again. Extracting all the ginger and lemon pieces was a little bit cumbersome. If you have a juicer, it'd be a lot easier. Cora's Juice Shop, open for business. All right, on to lunch. For lunch, Alex made me some burrata heirloom tomato salad. There's tender greens on the bottom, so it's healthy, but there's a massive ball of cheese on top. Is it fully healthy? No, but does it taste good? Absolutely. I'm gonna put some balsamic on it and a little bit of salt and pepper. A little bit of oil. Lunch is served. Am I eating cheese or salad? Mostly cheese, but I'm okay with that. Here. 
very good. It's kind of been our go-to thing for the past few weeks. We've been buying heirloom tomatoes from Costco and just cutting them up and putting it on top of tender greens. From time to time, also putting a massive piece of cheese. Alex and I are gonna prepare some food for tonight, so I'll see you soon. Sunday night and it's been a long day. I just came back from pickleball with Wendy and Alex. I'm gonna make some squash soup. I got a kabocha squash from we two weeks ago, but I'm procrastinating making it because I heard it's a little hard to cut into it. But I saw a recipe on TikTok that's a Vietnamese squash soup and it looked really good. So I wanted to try it. Let's get this cut open. it cut in half. I'm gonna scoop out the guts, cut it into pieces. I'm gonna cook it together with some ground pork, chicken stock, and some garlic. It's my first time doing it, so let's see how it turns out. I'm excited. Okay, I'm gonna start cooking the pork. sauce now, then some green onions. Almost forgot, gonna add a little bit of sugar. Really excited to try this. Getting steamy. All right, ready to serve. I'm super excited for this. Alex is back for a taste test. The guinea pig. Mmm, we're entering fall. This is the bowl. This is so good. Just so cold and acid this weekend, and the soup is the spot. This is definitely easier than I thought it'd be. You really just cut up the squash and throw it in, boil it for 15 to 20 minutes. It's pretty easy for me too. It's really flavorful from that ground pork, and also I put a lot of fish sauce. Ooh, so good. It's Sunday night, so I'm gonna take the evening chill and prepare for work tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed these really lazy meals with me. Ain't nobody got time to make anything more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Hey, this is behind the scenes. Hmm.